let's um, talk about tonight's game between the Clippers and, and Mavericks. I mean, uh, it's now a five-game series. Uh, this is exciting. Uh, Luca. it does not appear that the Clippers have an answer for him um, when he is either not banged up or in foul trouble. And uh, as long as Porzingis stays out of uh, the crosshairs of the officials, it looks like th- this is um, this is the Maverick series to take. What do you think? They're they're going to have a shot here, and I think one more thing, Rich. No Patrick Beverly, and you saw the way that he really went at Luca the first few minutes of Game One. He, you, you could tell Luca was in for a really really long series, a tough series, a physical series, and. Patrick Beverly has had this calf problem. He rested the calf issue during seeding games. It's now flared up again, and uh, he's doubtful to play today. And so that is a big shot to the Clippers' defensive lineup and um, I think a positive for the Mavericks. So they have a shot here to make this competitive, uh, this series competitive. I don't know if they win this, they, but they definitely have a shot here um, in the Mavericks' first run with this Luka Doncic, Chris Porzingis pairing in the in the playoffs. That would be just an absolute disaster. It's, it's just amazing how things work. Like you think the Lakers are in trouble, now you think the Clippers are in trouble, and who knows? Maybe they wind up in a Western Conference Finals in that bubble anyway. But um, just the way that the certainly with Hardaway Jr. looking the way that he's looking, and the rest of the team contributing, I, I you get the sense that the Clippers. Um, without Beverly and Harold needing to get his feet under him, that they're they're in trouble. You got that I just get that sense. And it would definitely be helpful if they had, you know, an actual staple center to get the fans uh getting him moving. But um you just get that sense that if, if Porzingis didn't get uh ejected or be s- silly enough to get into that set two in game one, this could be an O two hole that the Clippers are in right now. Very, yeah. I mean, that, that's it. Very well could be, and and but you know, listen. I expect Paul Paul George will be better. Um, you know, he he's he had, he had a rough go in Game Two. I think he'll come back motivated and ready for Game Three. And I would expect him to to step his game up. I would expect Kawhi to be Kawhi. Listen, the Clippers still have the edge here, um, as far as I feel. And uh, but listen, the, the Mavericks, no Pat Beverly. I think that only helps Luka Doncic's domination of of the floor. Any idea when Beverly could be coming back? With Cass Rich, I, I think it's all up in the air. It really just depends day to day. He missed several weeks in seeding games um, to to rest and, and get better. Um, it's it really, as far as I'm told, a day to day situation based on treatment. Okay. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.